I mean, how do you accept that people are, in fact, these most unconscious creatures that do nothing but live out their functions day in and day out, just, you know, function robots or whatever. Right. Like uh, everyone, I was trying to type my parents for a while. They visited me over the last weekend and suddenly I could see it, I think. I mean, I guess I know I might be right or wrong here. My father constantly asking for permission in various ways. My mother constantly changing the channel, not being able to stay on one topic for more than five seconds. I bet you're probably seeing this right. Yeah. Uh, it deeply frightened me. That, that's when you usually know you're onto something. If you're fucking scared out of your mind, you're probably going in the right direction. Right. It deeply frightened me, and I don't think that I'm 100% over the shock. <laughs> I, it's something I didn't know I didn't want to see. Right. The next time I felt that was when I typed Mark Zuckerberg for the class correctly, my first hit, you know, getting somebody's typewriter. Right. And, and so this guy, Felix, he's also TI, right? Yeah, he is TI. Yeah, so it's of Mark being close, close enough neighborhood to him, right? Yeah, for sure. Uh, it's like I'm unable to even listen to them anymore because all I hear are their functions on off. But fucking thank you right yeah in a way i'm seeing that that destroyed the image or idea i had of what human beings are yes myself included yes, yes. i've calmed down over the months but i still don't know how to process it or how to accept that right yeah um have you experienced something so this is like interesting that ips like i'm going through this has anybody else gone through this like right. fucking hell yeah <laughs> hell yeah <laughs> uh do you have any advice for me <laughs> best wishes right i love felix the uh, the thing that i have underlined here it's like i'm unable to even listen to them anymore because all i hear are the functions on autopilot that seems to be the gateway that seems to be the doorway into getting outside of the default programs um i would say i think that that in and of itself that's what happened to Jim Carrey. And I think that that's what's happening on repeat. Whenever you see somebody that has had this kind of existential situation where they finally get outside of what I'm calling the game, it's really just getting outside of the default wiring, right? Uh, Byron Katie's gone through it. I would say if you really want to start studying this process for your own self, either you're going through it or you're, you're about to, or you want to, um, Jim Carrey is a really good one because you're watching him in the movies, in his TV shows that he was in, where he's in a certain mind state, he's a character, he's in all these interviews, you can watch him over his span of his life and all the struggles that he's going through privately and publicly, and then he actually had a very public display of someone going through an existential, you know, understanding. Yeah, separating from not believing all these programs are real anymore. Right. I, I feel like The Matrix is born from this whole process of ego death. That's why I feel like that movie in particular hit so intensely in this process because the process of the game is you're inside the game you get the emotional boost from the game you can't just drop that emotional boost because again you're still a meat sack that's your non-movable you're still inside of the meat sack that is connected to the emotions that is wired by some default program outside of yourself right but you have to still process the sadness of that because that's that's now where you're going to be able to move forward. Because right. that, that ego death is is heartbreaking, even though you're like, but it's not real. But it's still, you're still inside the meat sack. You're right. still connected to the emotions. You still got to go now do the work to let go of that death. I find it interesting that, that Christianity talks about like being reborn. Yeah. I, I see the same thing when it comes to ego death. You do have to actually kind of see it as, as a death because you're getting outside of what you thought was the you. Right. The, the, the you that is, that is you is not you. It's this, it's this other you that is part controlled by just the, the, the triggering of, of the brain wiring of your functions. That's part of you. But then there is also the ability to get outside of that. That's the other part of you where you can now choose. There is a little piece of choice, yeah. you know, to be able to get outside of it. But again, I would say that the first part of that is that you do have to deal with the loss. You do have to deal with the death before you take over right. the game. For me as an FI, I do go on personal walks alone. And, and, and like the kind of the math that I've come out with is that it's it needs to be consistent. That's a number one. That one is non-negotiable. It has to be something that is consistent, something that you will do every single day because you need to give yourself a place of habit because that habit is where you're gonna now build. You cannot build without habits. Right. Ask James Clear about that. You have to have something, I don't care what it is, that you will do every single day. So when you're having a mental break or when you're having upsetness or when you're having whatever it is, you need to be able to put it back into the machine that is now you that you can do every day because you're not gonna get it all at once. It's like those yeah, of us right. that are savior thinkers were like, but I wasn't crying, I didn't cry, I didn't emote or anything like that. I'll see you tomorrow. Exactly. So you have to have something that's consistent. I I believe movement has a lot to do with it. You do have to have movement yeah, oriented. Yeah, me too, right? Whether it's working out, whether it's walking. I go for walks in the dark at night by myself. Mm. Then you also are going to be drained to hell. Yeah, and you're going to yeah. You're going to have to manage that. So that's going to be a part of your mental workout. It's just the, the drain of like, oh my God, my brain is slowing down. I'm now having to see 
my parents. Yeah, it fucks and, with your sense of time too. For sure. And then the last one I would say that very much becomes hard is like this situation where you have the tribe looking at you like you're fucking nuts. And yeah. now maybe that'll be less of a big deal if you're a double decider. Don't get caught up. She'll get caught up when she's 70 or 80. It's hard to remember it when you're going through it. Yeah. But the speaking of freedom. That it you, is. You, you, it's like you, if you're not feeling it at the time, this is probably more FI, like if you're not feeling free and happy and stuff like that, when Jim Carrey's saying, oh, by the way, I'm so free and so happy. Yeah. Like you don't know that's like, this is a very hard path, but on the other side of it is like true freedom. freedom and love forever. It's very true. And then, so, so speaking of how do you get to on the other side, um, the, the game has been given to you by default. You have the wiring hooked up to the game. We're just calling it the game. Is the game? It's just you're, you're triggered ups and downs based on your function stack, and nothing is fucking real. You're just going to be triggered, and that's your game that is given to you. Your default wiring game. You now have to now that you're getting conscious and getting outside of that, create your new game. Because otherwise, if you have that kind of existentialism, a lot of times this does happen to people. Is they're like, then why live? You get very nihilistic, right? Where it's like then if nothing matters, what's the point? And if, not, if there's no point, then why live? But there is so much, you know, now now we're speaking like optimistic nihilism. There's so much joy in that. Yeah, there's right. so much joy in that. And it's just a choice. And the choice is a, it's a conscious choice. It's a daily choice. Remember, go back to your processing consistently, right? Yeah. Because, because those have made it through, they all say the exact same thing. They, they do. all say, Every single one of them, you'll hear yeah. stacking of gratitude. Right. It's the practice of creating gratitude because it doesn't come from default. Sadness comes very easily. You wake up in the morning, you feel worry, you feel anxiety, you right. feel depression. That's normal and that is common. And it's a it's a, a mental workout for me too. Every single day I wake up, I have to choose to stack the gratitude. Because you don't, you no longer have a default program right. running that. Right. 100%. And that's that's the trade-off. Like your your parents are enjoying ignorance is bliss. That they get to run a program of today, they're very happy because tomorrow's the weekend. Yes. And they're they, they're not seeing that you then have a crash later. Right. Now you get old enough, you start to eventually see that. But your default programs are just going to like, I feel good today, I feel bad today. And you're right. not in control, right. which is why everybody's so easy to type because you're just watching them inside of their bodies and their bodies are the XYZ type and they're just taking them for the exact same ride as everybody else. Right. You get somebody like Ed Milet, where it's like, oh, he's in a body of, I want to blame everybody else because I'm an EJ. Right. But then like, he gets up in the morning, he's like, up, oh, you know what? I'm not going to do that. I am going to be thankful for what I have and I'm yes. going to take it. like, what is this person? Yes, right. Somebody who's now choosing. Now, the payoff is that's harder. Yep. It's a pain in the ass. It's on you. Right. But now if you're having a good day or a bad day, that's on you. Yes. If I want to go along for my IJ body wants to take me for a fucking roller coaster ride, I can take the day off and be fucking lazy and get up and do whatever I feel like. And whatever I feel like is IJ shit, which will feel good in the moment. But right. then next weekend, I'll fucking pay for it. Right. Or I could decide to have my type of Ed Milet morning routines. And this is freedom. Mm -hmm. So like what you're talking about there is very much prison, like your prison inside of the default Just the wires. unconsciousness hides you from that pattern. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So this is this is a, a more joyous path, but m the majority of people will not go down this path because of how much hell that you have to go through in order to come out the other side. And then work every day too. Uh, that's the thing is that it's never done. You have right. to wake up every single day. You have to be consistent. Right. You have to continue to choose positivity. You have to continue to stack gratitude. It is a new game where it's a conscious game instead of the default game. Now, I got a warning for you. <laughs> if you're going down this road and gaining the consciousness, you will get yourself to the point where a lot of people do where if you get so conscious, and you get so existentially aware that there is no turning back. And so your choice at that point, and a lot of us don't have a choice, a lot of us happened upon existentialism and, and couldn't back out. And therefore the pathway is now chosen for you where you can't go back to townsfolk land. You can't go back to unca unconscious yeah. land. The choice is now very clear. It's either you live in depression and sadness because of the existentialism. Or just keep going. Or... You can do what Ed Milet is, and, and you're now you're now way happier than you ever could have imagined. The joy is so freeing because you're in control of your own life. Yeah, no, I uh, I, I don't believe in icons. Uh, I don't believe in personalities. I believe that peace lies beyond personality, beyond invention and disguise, beyond the red S that you wear on your chest that makes bullets bounce off. I believe that it's deeper than that. I believe we're a field of energy dancing for itself. And uh, I don't care. But Jim, you got really dressed up for the occasion. You look good. No, I Was didn't that an accident? Up. I didn't get dressed Who up. Who did? There is no me. There's no you. No. We're not here. This is a dream? There's just things happening. 
and there are clusters of tetrahedrons moving around together. Okay. Yeah. So what's happening in our world right now? Because there is a lot of news that actually is relevant that's not that okay. Here's uplifting. the thing. It's not our world. None that's of this is key. real? Nope. So you're just passing We don't through. matter. We don't matter. Oh, wow. There's the good news. Okay. Thanks.